बैटरी लाइफ इज आपका बहुत ज़्यादा एक्सपोजर आएगा वो आपका वीडियो को मतलब खराब कर सकती है द काइंड ऑफ सेटिंग विच आई डोंट लाइक बिकॉज Hey there guys welcome to another mas brothers vlog so in today's vlog i have got the sj pro as i have already promised that i'm going to bring this camera for review so today i'm up with the video and uh, if we just simply jump on the review then talking about the feel and feedback of this camera this feels very premium and this is very tiny and it looks very good all right so and talking about the video the quality of the video which you're going to get after shooting with this camera is awesome in simple words that's fantastic if you just simply shoot in 4k then the video is outstanding and if you just shoot in 1080p then that's sufficient if you're a beginner and you need to record then i'd be suggesting go with the 1080p that's easy to render and uh, that consumes low space so that would be easy for you and that's sufficient so i personally shoot with 1080p so i have already shot few footages and i'm going to share those videos with you and uh, you guys so that you guys get to know how this camera performs so i'm going to be uploading that ne baap re baap re guys bhaisa pagal ho gaya ek bhais pad gaya tha mere piche ajeeb hai yaar aur dekhiye rasta bahut mast hai abhi aisa is type ka weather ho rakha hai na ki mere ko sahi mein main july ke time pe matlab darjeeling gaya tha and The scenery was kind of same. Up there, paid, idhar pe paid, and udhar pe pahad. Like everything is so good. बहुत मस्त. बस रास्ता थोड़ा सा अजीब है. बाकी I am enjoying my ride. और बहुत सारा गाड़ी है. बहुत जना इस ride में आ चुके हैं Mythan पे. Talking about the mining details, I am gonna talk about the um, specifications of the camera. Not like that. What are the box contents and all that? See if you guys want that video in which I am showing all the box contents and the stuffs, then just do comment in the comment section below. Then I will be providing a proper unboxing video. I will personally suggest you that go with the stabilizer on because the field of view you're gonna get with that is sufficient and moreover you will get the stabilization on board so the entire footage will be awesome. If I just talk about the battery life, the battery life is not good, guys. So you need to carry one extra battery with you whenever you are gonna need to shoot a very long video. So मेरे को नहीं लगता कि एक वीडियो में एक बैटरी में आपका हो पाएगा क्योंकि बैटरी बहुत जल्दी ड्रेन होता है. and uh, the important things which i need to share about this camera while uh, you just adjust the exposure then keep it 2 plus 2 by 3 because that is the perfect exposure setting that you can do in this camera otherwise jo aapka bahut zyada exposure aayega wo aapka video ko matlab kharab kar sakti hai that's my personal opinion keep that right just quickly let me quickly boot up the camera So let me show you the things. Here it is. I have kept the exposure in plus two by three, and uh, this is the setting power on record. Um, this is a kind of setting which I don't like because when you just turn on the camera, it automatically starts recording. So that is not what I like. And talking about the color profile. If you keep the gy gyro stabilizer on, then the color profile will be automatically selected to vivid, and you can't just change that in between. All right. And uh, talking about the volume, volume level is six, and I will talk about the volume and microphone in a separate video because that thing deserves a separate video because that's a big issue. And how I have solved the issue, I will totally share in that video. And uh, and just let me tell you another thing that is a disclaimer actually if you are going to shoot in night then the exposure setting will change obviously you need to adjust and you need to see that in which exposure um, settings according to the night um, according to the lighting condition you have to analyze that which setting will be perfect for you otherwise if it is a good daylight condition then plus 2 by 3 is a good setting another thing that this camera has touch issues as i have faced because the corner 
it doesn't work so well when i just click it doesn't take the response properly every time so this is the issue this camera has got and uh, it kind of heats up but not that much it's acceptable for me and uh, rest is fine the camera is very good overall in a 15k range i will um, give 4.5 stars or take 4 stars and overall in 15k range this camera is fine all right and uh, there is another thing all right if i just say about the box contents so uh, guys so guys if i say about the box contents i'm gonna show you the box contents like this because you already know what you're gonna get all right so these are the things you will get a camera itself and uh, the waterproof housing and these are the two mounts and these are the clips in which you will fix the camera in different position this is the thing which i personally like because you can fix it over the handlebar and you can straight away put the camera over this and this is the another back door all right and this is and this is and this is the thing in which you can just mount the selfie stick the, the top the holder which is on the top of the selfie stick you can just open from that and you can just put it over here so that you can attach your phone so this is the thing which you are also gonna get in the package and it is what it is so guys <coughs> i think i have provided all the necessary information and i am showing you the specification in this manner you can just screenshot it if required yeah these are the necessary details which i wanted to share with you so guys this is another interesting thing which this camera has actually it will show whether you are recording or not or the mode and the battery life also so you can just see this with the rear view mirror and while you are motor vlogging so that is very cool and just let me tell you another thing which is very important yeah this case so this case is fine all right this case is very good but you need to do this with this case uh, this kind of looks very bad but then you need to do this otherwise you will not be able to fix the external mic all right it won't just let the mic go in so you need to cut a hole in this in this manner so that you can put the mic and the mic has a different story so sharing that story would take a long video and talking about the external mic it will cost you around 1500 rupees and the quality of the mic is not that good guys actually the issue with the mic is the mic is way too much sensitive and uh, i will make another video in which i'll be sharing what is the exact problem with the mic and how you can resolve it because that's way too much necessary you will be spending 1500 rupees and you're gonna get a rubbish um, audio output from that that is totally unacceptable so i'm gonna be making another video for that so stay tuned and uh, yeah like every time i say do subscribe my channel and put something beautiful in the comment section below share this video to the people who want to buy a camera especially for motor vlogging because many are just now looking forward to start their new channel so this video might end up being good for them so that they could get some more extra information apart from just reviewing the camera i just shared those important details which you need to know before buying buying this camera and another thing i'm gonna show you is the most important thing if you just have watched my previous video then you would know that what kind of sd card will be perfect for this kind of camera all right so this is the thing you're gonna have to buy a sandisk or whatever might be the company but class 10 sd card that is way too much necessary so you guys already know what the drill is go subscribe my channel like the video so yeah meet you in the next vlog bye bye